Hi friends, it's Miss Sarah and for this month's character craft we are going to do Mouse from the If You Give a Mouse a Cookie series. So your kit is going to come with pretty much everything you're going to need except you'll need your own coloring utensils like crayons or markers, your own scissors, which you'll need to use carefully with a grown-up, and your own glue. So we have our instructions of what comes in the kit, the instructions for the first, which is a really neat um, mouse headband. And you'll be able to make this and design it yourself and color him any color that you'd like your mouse to be. Um, so that will come with the headband template that you can cut out and all of his little face pieces and inner ears, which of course you can also draw them on yourself if you'd like. But if you just want to color them and glue them on, that's going to be there too. And it will also come with a piece of construction paper so you can actually make the end part of your headband. So you'll need to have your grown-up measure it so that when you staple it on, you can get it to fit and you can walk around with your mouse headband. Uh, make sure that you only use, you're only going to need a small strip, about two inches or so. The rest of the paper you're going to want to use for your second part of the craft. And that is actually a really cool mouse counting game. Um, so it kind of looks like this. Uh, you'll get the ears as well. That looks like this. And you're just going to glue those on and you're going to want to make sure that you color your mouse gray or blue or green. You can't really see mine, but it's gray. Um, and you're going to use the rest of your white construction paper to cut out in little squares and you're going to just number them from one to eight. So they're all there. Um, and the reason behind that is your kit is also going to come with some brown construction paper and you're going to cut out some cookies because we all know mouse loves cookies. Uh, so you can make them chocolate chip flavored, M&M flavored, whatever flavor is your favorite flavor of chocolate chips. And what you're going to do is you'll have your numbers. You're going to put them face down and whichever one you grab, we'll say four, is how many your mouse is going to eat. It's a great way to remember your numbers. So he'll be eating four cookies and with the hole in his mouth that you, you'll create, you can just make him eat four cookies. So it'll just go right through and you'll feed him the other, the other three. And you just want to make sure that you make your mouth big enough to fit your cookies because if you can't eat, the mouse is not going to be happy. Um, so it's really easy um, and make sure you decorate his face because we want a happy mouse. And then your kit is also going to come with a really cute little, if you give a mouse a cookie game, uh, you'll have numbers and you just have to match up what exactly mouse wants next. Is he gonna want a crayon? Is he gonna want scissors? He has a cookie, he's probably gonna want a glass of milk. So you can just cut those out and play with those at home. It's gonna come with Aunt Petunia's jumbo chocolate chip cookie recipe. So if you wanna make some of your own cookies and you don't have mouse there to help you, you can make them with a grown up. And the last thing that comes in the kit is just a little coloring of mouse playing outside in the rain puddles. Okay. So, oh, and we also, of course, have our song lyrics for the day. So make sure you keep those handy so you can sing along with me. The book that we're going to read today is The Best Mouse Cookie. And it's just another one of the books in the series for If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. So let's begin. Okay, so here we are. Mouse has everything he needs to make cookies. He adds flour, salt, and a little music. You can't forget your music when you're trying to bake cookies. Mouse thinks baking is easy. Sometimes. Uh-oh. Looks like he's making a little bit of a mess. The bigger the drop, the louder the plop. Now Mouse needs a little nap. 
Looks like he's tired from making all those cookies. He makes himself comfortable. A little too comfortable. Uh-oh. Do you see the smoke coming out of his tree? Uh-oh. Oh well, Mouse doesn't mind starting over. Nope, you just toss those burnt cookies out. That looks like he's gonna make some more. There's no such thing as too many cookies. Mm, I agree, I love chocolate chip cookies. What's your favorite? But the best cookie is the one you share with a friend. Just ask Mouse. All right, guys. So we're going to do our song lyrics, and then we're going to read another book. Okay, so for our song, song lyrics, it's called Making Cookies. So we're going to pretend that we're making cookies. And this is great practice if you want to use your recipe and end up making those on Petunia's chocolate chip cookies. So first, we're going to hold out our arms in a big circle like a bowl and start with I'm making cookie dough. And then we're gonna roll our hands round and round the beaters go. Add some flour from a cup. Stir and stir the batter up. Roll them, roll them nice and neat. Put them on a cookie sheet. Bake them, count them, one, two, three. Serve them to my friends for tea. And then you're gonna take a bite. So let's do it together and start with your big circle as a bowl. I'm making cookie dough, round and round the beaters go. Add some flowers from a cup, stir and stir the batter up. Roll them, roll them, cut them nice and neat. Put them on a cookie sheet. Bake them, count them, one, two, three. Serve them to my friends for tea. All right, one more time, friends. Hands out. I'm making cookie dough. Round and round the beaters go. Add some flowers from a cup. Stir and stir the batter up. Roll them, roll them nice and neat. Place them on a cookie sheet. Bake them, count them, one, two, three, serve them to my friends for tea. All right, friends, good job. So now we're gonna read our second book and you'll be able to start your character crafts. Okay, friends, so for our second book, we're gonna do Mouse's Friend Pig and it's called If You Give a Pig a Pancake. Okay, so let's start. If you give a pig a pancake, what do you think happens if you give a pig a pancake? She'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky. So she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles. When you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. You'll have to find her rub your rubber duck. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Oh my, look at all that mess. What is Pig gonna wear? Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Hmm. 
wonder what she's gonna want next. Then she'll want you to take her picture, so you'll have to get your camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to, to she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You're gonna have to take a lot of photos to make Pig happy. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. Uh oh. So you'll have to get her some wood, a hammer, and some nails. When the tree house is finished, hmm, she'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some, hmm, but if she's going to want syrup, what does she want to go with syrup? And chances are, if she asks you for syrup, hmm, she'll want a pancake to, to go with it. Hmm. All right, so you have a pig, make sure you have pancakes available. And if you have a mouse, make those on Petunia's cookies. Okay, friends. Well, that is the end of our character craft for mouse this month. I hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you next time, friends. Bye.